Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday night edition of Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson, and I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we're going to discuss Thursday's market action and our game plan for Friday. But first, if you want our free alerts, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on InsiderFinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile. Mobile, it works for all numbers worldwide and mobile is the fastest way to get our alerts. We send out all our alerts pre-market just before the opening bell. Uh, simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, to be one plus area coded number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up with the, your mobile, you will get a welcome email, which will include a download link to get the free Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. No Discord rooms, no Telegram chat rooms whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in. Well, today's focus was the stronger than expected ADP jobs report that came out at 8.15 a.m. Uh, that prompted on uh, selling on Wall Street. Uh, indications of a tight labor market fueled concerns about further rate hikes from the Federal Reserve, and the S&P ended lower by 1.14%. Uh, we're going to tomorrow morning at 8.30, we get the non-farm payrolls report. This will provide fresh data on exactly how tight the labor market is and what that means for inflation and the Fed's monetary policy decisions. Economists are expecting that Friday morning's report will show around 200,000 jobs were added in December and the unemployment rate stayed at 3.7%, still near a 50-year low. Total non-farm uh, payroll employment growth averaged 392,000 jobs per month in 2022 through uh, uh, November and 562,000 per month in 2021. Uh, the consensus of 200,000 jobs for December appears to be in line with recent trends, which has been toward gradually slowing job growth. With unemployment staying so low, Fed Chairman Jay Powell has often pointed to the tight labor market as reason that the central bank can keep raising interest rates. The supply-demand balance in the labor market needs to come more in line, he has said. Uh, the Fed tomorrow will be looking for job growth in the range of 100,000 to consider labor supply demand more balanced. The strongest sectors are likely to be leisure and hospitality, which still haven't recovered fully from the pandemic and health care. But in terms of trading it, uh, we are, look at this range. I mean, this has been going on since the middle of December, basically just hugging the 380 line. Uh, the numbers that I'm looking at is a breakdown uh, below 376 or a break through 386. So again, when you get this tight congestion, uh, that means that the, the next move is going to be very violent. So uh, it's, it's make or break to, uh, day tomorrow with the jobs data, and uh, we will be watching it here uh, at insiderfinancial.com. And if we see anything actionable, you know, with the jobs data coming out at 8.30, uh, you know, that gives us one hour to put together a report if there's something that we like, if we see an options play, or something that makes sense for you guys, we will send that out. So make sure you click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Again, it's a completely free service unsubscribe anytime. But uh, this tweet today was interesting. We got this from Moon Market. Shout out to him, a uh, good friend of the channel. Is it time to retire from the OTC? Small caps are much more profitable. Uh, welcome to the party, Moon. Uh, we've been in uh, focusing on NASDAQ and NYSE penny stocks here for our subscribers. Uh, OTC has just been very, very, just been dead boring. Uh, uh, not a lot happening. Uh, as I said uh, last uh, last month, the only OTC that I like right now is KEGS, uh, up on 23% today. Uh, they are reducing their share count. Uh, they got a nice, a great CEO there. They're doing all the right things. PR out today. Uh, they addressed their outstanding conver convertible debentures. Uh, it has just a $2.8 million market cap. So this one can run. 
I know get a lot of people are, are telling me to uh, take a look at GVSI. GVSI, so I'm going to give you guys a shout out. Everyone leaving comments about GVSI. I have no interest in getting in the clown car with George Sharp. $67 million market cap, uh, expert market, no interest. Good luck, guys. Uh, no interest in getting involved at all. But over on the big caps, uh, WWE, uh, interesting news out. Vince McMahon looking to rejoin the company. He says he wants to get back involved to make a, uh, to evaluate strategic alternatives. I think, you know, he's 77 years old. Uh, he wants to sell, cash out, uh, cement his legacy. Uh, they got some deals in terms of Raw and SmackDown. Uh, they're, they're getting ready to be renewed, renegotiated. Now's the time. Time, perfect time. Everyone's looking to own the IP. Yet Endeavor, they bought the, the UFC, WWE. This is a prime uh, buyout candidate, uh, in my opinion. We're uh, uh, here at 72, 52-week uh, range, 47 to 81. Uh, I think the, the stock is uh, is a great lotto play, and I think we'll, uh, we'll be a lot higher this year. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, moving on, MULN, uh, really nice action uh, uh, in this stock, up 24% today. Uh, this is a great short squeeze play with no news. We've had no news since, I think, December 22nd. Uh, if we get a big PR drop, this thing is going to go flying. Uh, and I'm going to, the range, uh, the resistance I had told everyone about was around 82 cents. Uh, we get through there, we're going to then challenge a dollar. So again, uh, like the price action in MULN, I know a lot of people are in this play. Uh, retail needs a win this year. They've had some, uh, it's been a rough go last year, a lot of games being played, MMMTLP, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Ryan Cohen rug pulled everyone, and now the company's announcing uh, is on the verge of bankruptcy. So again, not been a good year. Uh, last year was a horrible year for retail. Let's hope uh, that 2023 is better. Uh, moving on, uh, there's two sectors that I really like this year, um, and they're biotech and China plays. Uh, they're immune from the overall market. Everything uh, with biotech, it's on, uh, you know, related to FDA, treatments, drugs, uh, et cetera. China, it's completely uh, removed from Fed policy. Uh, they've been in lockdown. They're getting ready to reopen. So I think there's a lot of opportunities in China plays. Um, Three biotechs that I'm looking at for tomorrow. Again, I have no position in any of these stocks. So again, guys, uh, I'm not uh, uh, you know pumping my book or anything like that. We don't do that here at InsiderFinancial.com. But first, we're looking at PLX. Uh, this is just a great chart here. Uh, bottomed here at a dollar. We're breaking through here. Uh, we just had a recent insider buy at a dollar forty-two. Uh, he bought 110,000 shares. He is now uh, 174,000 shares total. Total. So this is a significant buy by a director, um, and uh, this one PLX uh, certainly should be on your uh, radar. Uh, moving on, we got uh, SPRB uh, looking for some fireworks tomorrow. Uh, they put out news after the bell that it entered into a licensing licensing agreement with Japan's Kaken Pharmaceutical to develop and commercialize its therapy uh, tilde font for the treatment of CAH. Uh, CAH is a group of genetic disorders that affect the adrenal glands, which produce important hormones. Uh, hormones. KKM will be responsible for the clinical development and commercialization of tilde serfant in Japan, and Spruce will retain all rights to tilde serfant and all other geographies. What's interesting about this is that uh, company has a uh, uh, SPRB. Uh, has a market cap, let's see here, of just $28 million. But uh, as per the agreement, SPRB will get an upfront payment, upfront cash of uh, $15 million from KKIN and will be eligible for uh, to get additional milestone payments as well as royalties on sales in Japan. So SPRB, this is a great deal. Expecting uh, 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 big things from, from uh, SPRB going forward. 
Uh, next up is CTMX. Uh, CTMX and Moderna signed a, a deal after the, uh, this was announced after the bell. They have entered into a co collaboration and licensing agreement to create mRNA-based therapies using their technologies. The, co the collaboration will combine Moderna's mRNA technology with CTMX's ProBody platform to develop therapies for oncology and non-oncology conditions, the company said in a statement. As per the agreement, CTMX will also get an upfront payment Payment of $35 million, including $5 million of prepaid research funding. So $35 million market cap of just $110 million. This is a very significant deal. And Moderna is as big as it gets. So this is a great, great uh, situation. Uh, CTMX says it's also eligible to get up to $1.2 billion in future development, regulatory, and commercial milestone payments. So this is an extremely big deal. The company said Moderna and Cytomex will collaborate on discovery and preclinical development, and Moderna will lead clinical development and commercialization of therapeutics resulting from the agreement. The agreement also provides uh, Moderna with an option to take part in any future equity financing by CTMX. So big deal there. Congrats uh, uh, to CTMX and C SBRB for uh, signing and getting these big deals done. But right now, as I said, China Play is another uh, great sector. I talked about Win uh, uh, last month, said it was a great play, up uh, up again today, Green Day. Uh, I talked about Baba in our last video. Uh, the China's uh, uh, allowing Ant to do a, uh, a capital raise, which is significant. Uh, Alibaba is a major shareholder in Ant Financial, so, so big, big news. Uh, but we're getting some big China plays. These are old runners that we talked about last year, HKD. MEGL, ATXG, uh, JZ up 50%, AMTD up 27%, ILAG up 25%, HUDDI up 23%, and GSUN uh, up 17%. Again, absolutely no news. Uh, the entire sector is getting hot, but I want to point out one uh, play for tomorrow. I'm I'm telling you what happened, uh, uh, but I'm telling you that there's another play, OST, uh, that we are watching for tomorrow. This uh, was up 6%. This has not run yet. This is a China play. Uh, they are at C. They put out a press release uh, on, uh, on Wednesday uh, that they're attending the CES show. Um, this company is trading at a 4.9 PE, $14 million market cap. Insiders own 48%, uh, just 6.9 million shares in the float. Uh, this one, uh, you know, again, is an IPO from last year, OST. I think a lot of people are going to start looking for other uh, Chinese IPOs that have yet to run. OST is one that should be on your radar. So OST, uh, putting on, uh, uh, letting everyone know, is uh, one that we are watching here at insiderfinancial.com. So just trying to bring you guys stuff early, put it on your watch list. Again, we are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is my solicitation, recommendation, buy, sell, or hold securities, a video or opinion, meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Well, guys, if we see anything in the pre-market uh, beyond what we discussed today in today's video, we will send out an alert to all of our subscribers. Make sure you sign up. Go to Click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. Guys, it is completely free. It is a completely free service to sign up. It does not cost you anything to sign up. Well, we want to wish everyone good luck trading tomorrow with uh, non-farm payrolls. Uh, let's uh, see how the day uh, progresses. Uh, let's hope uh, we get a, uh, a, a that break that we're looking for. Either we go lower through 376 or higher through 386. We will be watching those key numbers on SPY. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is, is uploaded. Good luck, guys. Bye-bye.